What's going on, ladies and gents? So we're back. Um, as you can see, we are in the new place. Uh, there's still a little bit of construction still going on and still trying to get things cleaned up and organized. So after we get all of that settled, we will give you guys a tour of the new shops. Today, we actually are gonna jump back to a previous video when we actually did a competition and we asked people to submit, you know, shoes to be redone. Well, our winner has been chosen and today we're actually getting around to doing those pair of shoes. The guy is from Greece. A doctor. A doctor. And uh, he'd had these shoes, I think he said since he was in medical school. Yeah, had them since medical school. So they just kind of had a really cool story to it. And uh, we're gonna knock those out and get those back in the mail and head them back over to Europe. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. All right, so we have only seen these in a picture on, uh, on the email that he sent to us. We haven't even opened the package yet. So this is our first time seeing them in person. And uh, let's see what we got. If you want to send something, this is not the address anymore. New one's on our website. All right, so they are some Bruno Maglis, and um, they are, look like they're just a glue and own construction. He has some soul protectors on here, but we're just gonna try to breathe some new life into them. So let's do it. So, as you can tell, this wash stitch, when I first pulled them out of the bag, I said it looked like it was a cement construction. But, but when I started looking closer, um, especially when I poured some of the, uh, or started to remove this, I saw that it was a blind stitch here. And, um, but you can hear this, the threads are just snapping. So, I don't want to put too much pressure because some of these threads may not be that bad and I don't want to damage the insole. Okay, so this is a Blake welt and um, it's kind of a storm, look, it's not like a real deep uh, rib on here, but, uh, or a lip, but it's kind of a storm welt and it's got, it just looks like caked polish or something. So 
we're gonna take this off and strip it down and clean it and then put it back on. But before we do that, but unlike a Goodyear welt that is, when you st it's stitched on, it is fixed in one place unless the rib you know, were to shift, uh, this is just glued on. So you can see it's just, and sometimes this can even, where it's been folded under, so it can lose its shape. So what you gotta do is find the little spots where it was and you gotta go through and mark. So when we take this off, we know exactly where we're gonna put it back in the right place. All right, so we have made our line all the way around to show where the teeth are gonna go up to. And then we made some markings in the corners and on the side so that when I go to glue it back, it's not like, you know, one tooth off. We know exactly where these points are and then the rest I'm will just slide straight in. So I'm gonna just go ahead and pull this up. And there it is. We'll take it over there and strip it down and, and clean it back up. And then we can glue it back onto this when we keep going. All right, guys, so like Heath said, these welts are actually in really good shape, so there's no point in replacing them. But as you can see, there's a lot of built up wax and it almost looks as if like that liquid polish was used at one point. I'm, I'm not for sure, but we're going to strip all of this old build up off to get back down to the bare leather and then we'll re-dye these uh, before putting them back on the shoe. Okay guys, so I took the acetone and took several layers of it to try to strip off as much of the old black uh, buildup as we could. And now we are just going to re-dye these leather welts and make them look a little, uh, little more fresh again. All right, so Trent has got these things cleaned up. We're fixing to glue them back on, but before you do, I want your opinion. Got my mustache thing going on. I wanna know what your opinions are. Leave a comment down in the below. Thumbs up, thumbs down, and we'll see how it goes. So this is something that we couldn't ever show at our old place because this machine is actually at a different location. And so we'd have to click our soles out and then just bring them up to the shop. But this is our clicker press and we buy a lot of our sole leather by the bin, um, which is the whole hide of the cow's rump. And then we just cut our soles out as we need them in different sizes. For those that are wondering, this is the Martin Gebruder sole leather, which is also a pit tan oak bark from right down the street as JR in um, the Black Forest region of Germany. And uh, it's you can tell it's kind of got a little bit lighter color um, finish than the JR, but still an extremely good sole leather.
All right, so when we get these off, like I said, I noticed that they were blind stitched. So we're gonna, for the purposes of this video, we're gonna get them back to the way they were. So I have to mark my heel breast because the stitches have to go back underneath here. We don't have to go all the way around or anything like that. So we'll start here and go up around. And I like to go around it first with a little edge or not take off a whole lot, but it just creates a little lip and gives me as a, a guide for how deep to start my, my cut. All right, so this is a Blake stitched and it's got a storm welt, which is a little bit wider um, than a regular welt, even a regular Blake welt. Um, and so therefore you actually have the stitches have to come a little bit further in. On this particular one, when I cut the slit, I actually have to go in almost about 24 millimeters um, just to clear that and you know give myself a little bit of room to cut the channel. On a Goodyear welt, you normally don't have to do that. On most of your dress you use that a Goodyear welt, they have a blind stitch. Uh, the channel is only about, you know, less than a centimeter in from the edge. Um, but because stitches are on the outside, but the stitches are on the inside and we have to come on this side of the welt. So that's why this thing is going to be uh, cut a little bit more. Now, a lot of people like to cut a little bitty. Uh, uh, I mean, I like to cut a little kind of score at first and then get a double pass. But some people will cut these things all in one pass. It, uh, I like to kind of gradually do it. All right, so we got the hill blocks on. We're gonna use uh, this hill press and shoot some nails from this direction.
All right, guys, so the uppers on these boots were actually in really good shape. So all I've done is I just applied some conditioning cream or some conditioner onto the boots. And now I'm going to do is put some black shoe cream on there just to put some black pigment coloration back into the shoe and to bring out a little bit of a shine. We're not going to do anything crazy with them, um, but that'll help condition the boots a little bit more and make them look nice. All right, guys, before we show you what these shoes look like, I just want to remind you guys to like this channel, give us a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit the little subscribe button and the bell so that you're notified every time a video comes out. Also, as Heath said earlier, let us know what you think about this stash. Do you want it? Do you want to see it go away? Leave us a comment down below. All right, so just a little wrap up on what we did to these guys' boots. Uh, we put some Martin Gabruder sole leather on there. Um, we had to strip off most of, we had to remove the welt and strip all that off because it was just caked up with all kinds of gunk. And then we, uh, we used this, uh, the same block because those were stacked leather and then we just topped them off with some, um, some Vibram uh, rubber heels. And uh, it was a pretty straightforward resole and I think he's going to like it. We did do the bottoms all black. Uh, nothing, kinda, yeah, yeah, nothing, nothing too fancy schmancy, just, uh, you know. I think he'll like it. Yeah. So get those back up, get them back over to Europe. Y'all have a good one. All right. Bye, y'all.